which process is isothermal and which is adiabatic for the sealed system. So here I have two curves, one's isothermal, one's adiabatic. An isothermal curve is one where the temperature is the same everywhere along the curve. So I'm going to use that fact and check the endpoints to determine which one of these is isothermal. I know that the ideal gas law says that PV equals NRT. And in this case, it's a sealed system, so the number of moles won't change. So therefore, PV is proportional to the temperature. So all I need to do is find the product of PV for the ends of the curves. So I'll look at the red curve, and I'm going to label the ends A and B. I'm going to look at the pressure times volume for A, and I get a number of 3 times 1. I'm not actually calculating the temperature. I'm just looking at it as a comparison. So 3 times 1, that's 3. And for location B, that's 1 times 3, so that's also 3. 3 on both ends, so the temperature is the same because the product of PV is the same. So I'm guessing that A, the red curve, is the isothermal curve. But let's just see if it's a trick question and check the blue curve. So I'm going to look at the ends of the blue curve, and I'm going to label them S and T. So at S, I'm looking at the pressure. That's pressure of 5 and a, vol a volume of 2. And at T, that's going to be a pressure of 2 and 4. So 5 times 2 is 10 at the S position, and 2 times 4 is 8 at the T position. They're not the same product, so they're not the same temperature, so it can't be an isothermal process. So the blue curve, in this case, is going to be the adiabatic curve.